Welcome back. In this session, we are going to write script that demonstrates the creation, updating, and deletion of user accounts, a common scenario for IT administrators and developers working with Microsoft 365 environments. Leveraging the power of PowerShell and the Microsoft Graph API, I will walk you through each step of the process. So, let's jump in. Follow along as we explore the script, understand its components, and witness the seamless interaction between PowerShell and Microsoft Graph API for effective user management in your Microsoft 365 environment. Step 1 We have to go to Azure Portal. And then go to App Registration. Next click on View All Application in the Directory. Next select the application which we have created in our earlier session using PowerShell. Over here click on API Permission. Here you will see that I have already configured the user read write all scope. So to configure you need to click on add a permission. Then select Microsoft Graph. This will give you two options. You have to select application permission. This is because we are going to use this permission in upcoming session for writing daemon process. Next search for user read write all. Select the permission and click on OK. Once done, you will back to the screen from where you have started. Now last step, click on Grant Admin Consent of your listed domain. We are done for this step. Let's jump into the Visual Studio code to write the script. So friends, we are into the Visual Studio code. In this first line, we are importing the Microsoft Graph Users module, which provides functionality related to Microsoft Graph Users. We've just defined a function named new user. This function takes a single parameter called $PROMS and it uses the new MG user commandlet to create a new user using the provided parameters. Now we will create function to update user information. Here, we have a function named update user that takes parameters representing the user's ID, display name, given name, and surname. It uses the update mg user commandlet to update the specified user with the provided information. The remove user function is defined to delete a user. It takes the user's ID as a parameter and uses the remove mg user commandlet to delete that user. Now we will use the functions which we have created. So first we'll look into how to create new user. The details I am specifying over here is account enabled, display name, mail nickname, user principal name, password profile. Here we are setting the value for perms collection. I want to create a user named Isaac Newton. This is what I am specifying over here. Here, we are calling the functions we defined earlier. First, we create a new user using the new user function, then we retrieve the user ID from the created user. Next, we update the user's information using the update user function. While calling this function, we need to specify the value which we want to update. For this example, I am updating display name, given name, and surname. And finally, we delete the user with the remove user function. Here we specify the user ID of the user which we want to delete. Now let's execute each of the examples. We will start with creating a new user, but before that I will show you the current active user where our new user Isaac Newton is not existing. So let's look into admin portal of M365. So friends, we are into the M365 admin portal and over here we need click on users and select active users. These are users currently we are having in our tenant. So now let's proceed to Visual Studio Code and run the create functionality and then we will come back and verify. So now let's proceed to Visual Studio Code and run the create functionality and then we will come back and verify. 
Now we are into the Visual Studio code and before executing. Let's connect Microsoft Graph with Connect MG Graph. Now select line 1 and 2 right click run selection. And you will see that it is connected. Now let's load new user function load into the memory. So to load we need to select line number 4 to line number 11. Now right click run selection. The function is now loaded into the memory. Now go back to example usage section select line number 35 to line number 55. Right click run selection. Now select the user ID variable and right click and run selection. You will notice that we got ID of the newly created user. Let's do one thing, select new user variable right, click then run selection, and you notice in the terminal it displayed all the details of the newly created user. So friends, we have verified new user into terminal. Let's go back to M365 admin portal and verify there. We are into the admin portal. Let's refresh it. You will notice here we have Isaac Newton new user available, but he is unlicensed. How to assign license to new user that we will look into another session for license management. Now we have seen how to create new user. Let's proceed further and run the code for update user. We are into Visual Studio code. Let's select line number 13 to line number 22. Right click and select run selection. You will look into the terminal function is loaded into the memory. Let's go to example usage section and go to line 58 and you notice here I have appended a text called updated for display name, given name and surname. Now select line number 58 and right click and run selection. It is updated now let's go back to admin portal and verify it. And you see that it is updated now. Now let's go back to Visual Studio Code and run the code for delete user. We are into the Visual Studio Code let's select line number 25 to line number 31. Right click and select run selection. Now function is loaded into the memory. Before deleting the user. Let's check the user ID. Go to line 54 and select only user ID variable and right click and run selection. Now you will notice in the terminal we have user ID for Isaac Newton which we have created in our earlier exercise. In this exercise we want to do delete the same user. So let's delete it. Now go to line number 61 and select the line. Right click and run selection. You don't see any output into the terminal, but believe me user is deleted now let look into the admin portal user section. You are seeing the user here as the page is not refreshed. Let's reload the page and then verify. You see here we don't have any user with name Isaac Newton now. So guys this is what I wanted to show you in this session. See you in the next session.